Guys, Jed Walters here. Welcome to my studio at Truefit Golf Center here in Warrington. And today I wanna to talk about and show you a little drill on how you can improve your release. So the release of the club, whether you release it early or you're trying to stop releasing it early and you wanna release it a bit later, how you can practice and drill and get the right feeling. Let's take a look. Right guys, so let's look at the release and, and what we would normally get. I've got an alignment stick and a golf club, seven iron. Literally, this is all you need. And you can practice the feeling in the garden. You don't need to be at the range at the golf course to do this. This is the great thing about this drill. Let me just put it down for one second whilst we go through the differences of release. So you guys who are early releasing as you're coming down, the hands are going here. So the, the butt of the club is moving and pointing more towards you as you're moving down and the club then starts to get the bottom of the swing circle, the low point starts to move back here. Okay, so that one we want to avoid, but we also want to avoid the feeling that we hold these angles too long, too long, too long, too long here, because then we lose the bounce on the club, the leading edge starts to potentially dig in. Um, we do de-loft it a lot, but also if we are here, if I'm holding the angles, holding the angles, holding the angles, remember the swing is moving down this way. So the club face potentially then is gonna be pointing way off to the right. So it's gonna make it doubly difficult for you to get your ball on target and functional around the golf course. So this drill, alignment stick. And we're just gonna grip it. So we're just gonna have, I mean, this is a slightly shorter stick than normal. So a longer stick would have a little bit more here, but what we wanna get is we wanna be able to get the stick high enough up so it comes out the side here because this is gonna be your reference. So we're just gonna take grip. I've got the stick underneath there really because I feel it's a little bit more comfortable to take my grip and do that. So I've got it in position there. So I'm gonna make a backswing. Now, if I was to release early, so I'm starting a downswing, release it early, you can see where the stick wants to try and hit me really early. You can see how it starts to poke out the side there in the grip. So we want to stop this early release. If you get an early release, you're going to get the stick hitting you quite early and the club is all the way back here, somewhere in line with or in the area of your trail foot, okay? If we get the correct release, so I'll just put that back into the grip there. If we can get correct release from the top, as we're coming down and through, we're gonna be around here where we've got left arm or lead arm shaft all nicely aligned. And we can see there's very little of the stick sticking out there as it's just against me now at this point. So this is the feeling that we're really looking for. So we're down and we're releasing here. If we hold those angles a little bit too late, what you then find is from the top, you would be here. So as you're coming into where the ball would be, we can see this angle here. The stick is pointing all the way through there. So it would be a late hit into your side with the extension all the way out there. And um, as much as we want that late hit and we might want to think about hitting it later, if we hit it too late, it will have potentially as many disastrous consequences as trying to release it too early. So the key feeling that we're after, just to recap, is top of the backswing, releasing down so you've got the club, the lead arm, all nicely aligned, and there the cane is up against you as you go through. So I'm gonna hit a couple of shots now, just trying to get that feeling. As we get down in towards the impact, I just want to imagine the cane just into the side there as I go through. And we'll just clip a couple away, try and recreate that feeling at the bottom. It's really nice. So we've got a nice flight, good trajectory, nice control and a really good strike as well. Just gonna hit one more. So again, just try and recreate that feeling where we're in that position there. And then just try and feel that at the bottom. And again, a little bit of draw on that one as well. 
Guys, thanks for watching. As always, please post your comments in the box below. I'd really love to hear what you guys have got to say. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. If you already have, thank you very much. You can catch me on social networks. The links are in the description below the video. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.